What is up? Welcome to the Mind of Widge. I was gonna paint a piece and I wasn't gonna film it, but then I kind of was thinking this one's gonna be colorful, lots of motion, lots of crazy kind of stuff going on. And uh, I've done a couple paintings like this before. It's gonna be a continuation of a series, but I wanted to get this one documented because the first two I did, I didn't um, document them. And I think it'd be a cool video to show. It's a really cool style. And uh, here's the styles of the paintings right here. So there's this one, which I did, uh, I finished it this year, uh, the beginning of this year. I started it the, the, the beginning of last year, actually. Worked on it just every once in a while and finished it. I really loved how it turned out. And then I also did this one. And uh, they're pretty similar styles. Basically, you just throw paint all over the canvas and then you go in with black and you color in certain pockets to make it look like there's space behind the art. And then you go in and detail all the stuff. Like I got the skull right here, the hand, the female body. And then like, there's just a bunch of crazy stuff. There's a little UFO and like a fish in a boat right there. And uh, so we're gonna do a piece like this on a 24 by 36 inch canvas. All right, this is the canvas we'll be working with. I've got it propped up on a couple paint cans just to keep it low to the ground and kind of help contain the splatter a little bit more because this style definitely is a messier one. Um, this was a painting I was working on and I kind of didn't have a, an idea where I was going with it. So we're just gonna cover it up and make it actually something that I know what I want to do with. So first things first, we're gonna start with some whites and some colors to kind of get some of these dark ones out of here. But honestly, the It'll all work out. It'll all work out. Take that and we'll keep this handy to get colors out of. Also, before we get started, here's the color kind of palette I'm working with. We've got yellow, thalo green, magenta, orange, a deep blue, a light green, a kind of teal like uh, aqua, fluorescent pink just because, and then a teal again, this is a golden fluid just for kind of getting some more fluid stuff, and then red. And then we'll kind of be mixing white with all of this too to get depth and uh, make it look highlighted in certain areas. And to begin the process, we'll be taking a brush. I think this is like a three inch brush. We'll just get a little, a little white paint around on there. And we'll kind of just bring it over and make some, make some motion. I don't really know if this piece is gonna be vertical or horizontal. We're just gonna kind of see how the colors flop, fall on and um, Go from there. So we just kind of, you know, give it a little something on there. Just give it something. And then let's see, the first color, let's do some thalo green. So I'm literally just taking the brush and putting this thalo green just right on thick, just like that, boom. And we'll kind of hit right up in here. Just kind of pull it out. I actually like how it looks up there. I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that. Just cover a little bit down here to get some color in. Kind of bring this up. Maybe just add a little circle right there. Bring it back down. Boom. Nice. Move this away so we don't have any spillage. And then with this style, I kind of don't even mind if the colors mix a little bit. They, they should with how I do this. So I'm gonna leave the thalo on here. We'll just get rid, of, get rid of that little bit of color on it. And then we'll go straight into some blue. This is Windsor blue. And again, just straight onto the brush like this, just nice and thick. And this one will kind of give a little more, a little more splat. Let's see, we'll go right here. Oh yeah, beautiful. And then we're pulling it, letting it do its thing. That's awesome, I like that. I kind of want to pull this, pull this down just a little bit. Nice. All right, now we're gonna switch up. So I washed my brush out. And I'm switching, whenever I switch from the darker colors to lighter colors, I kind of like to do a little brush rinse just to keep the colors nice and vibrant. So for this one, we're gonna take some uh, yellow, again, just real thick right there on the brush. So we got the yellow, and then we'll do just a smidge of orange, just a smidge. 
So just kind of right there on the corner, just like that. We take this and I kind of want to hit like right up in this area. So we'll kind of just go boom, like that. Bring this around, bring it down. Oh, that looks good. That yellow is super, super, uh, super deep. That's, that's what we're looking for. The random stuff that happens is beautiful. I love that. We can even pull this a little bit. Like it really flopped out there. Boom, yes, love that, love that. Let's even add a little red down there. Or maybe, let's do not red. Let's go, let's go magenta with it. So we'll just do a little, just a little bit of magenta right here. I don't know if I'm gonna smack this one, but let's kind of just put it in. We'll lay it in a little bit better. This. All right, let's do just a little bit of red. And see how we pulled the green kind of with it too? That's what this style is all about. That's what I've kind of figured out doing this is like the, you lay the color really, really vibrant, pull it into some of the other wet colors and it just gives the craziest look when it all comes together at the end. I really love it. This has the possibility to be my favorite one I've ever done yet. Look at how pretty the brush looks too when you do all this. It's all the colors in there, I love that. Let's do a little bit of some light green, how about? All right, we'll throw the lime green. Let's just throw it right here. Something like that. All right, we're gonna just fill in a little more space. This one I got blue, green, and then a little bit of white on there just to kind of help give it some brighter colors and not keep it so dark. So we're gonna go, let's see, here maybe a little bit, something like that. edge to match up. And we'll pull this way. Now this right here is interesting because I already see there's a face forming. You got the eyebrow shape, the nose coming down, and then lips right there. So what we're gonna do is basically just take this and follow that line and create a face here. So the eyebrow line, bring it down for the nose. And then the lip section. And then after all this is done, we'll go in and detail that up and make that an actual face right there. Now, I'm gonna test out this fluorescent pink. I don't really work with fluorescent pink paint. I usually more use it as spray paint. We'll see what happens here. We got a light background and I'm kinda gonna tie it into this red or magenta. So it should go okay, but we will find out shortly. Let's see. Not as much splat as I would have liked, but we can kind of fix that, let's see. There we go. One nice single splat right there, that's perfect. The last thing, I kind of just want a splat of white, like right in this area kind of. So we're just gonna give this a nice throw and get some white splats in there. Boom! 
Yes. Yes. We can pull this in a little bit. Sweet. Add a little more matching. All right, so now the colors have had a bit of time to dry, about an hour, and you can see everything's pretty much dry. There's a couple of spots right here where it's real thick and still wet. Underneath, on the outside, it's dry, but we're basically gonna go through now in all these areas where there's empty space, and we're kind of gonna make our own little areas. We're gonna fill in with black paint to make it look like there's space behind all these blocks of color. So now we got a good bit of black added into the background and we're getting to see space back there. You can see I kind of started making the skull. We have like an eye right here, the nose, and I'm gonna put some teeth right down here. Some kind of abstract looking teeth to give it a skull because that one has a skull and so does that one. So I'm kind of keeping the skull theme in with this. So remember the face I did earlier right here. We're gonna go in now, outline that, and kind of bring this little corner to life. Day two of this painting, we are getting details going. Everything is coming to life. This is turning out to be maybe my favorite of the series so far. I don't know. I really like the other two I've done, but this one's just, I'm understanding kind of how the series is going and how this kind of style of art is going to be made. So this one's just kind of naturally happening. And uh, I love this right here, this little brain, this kind of little dude figure, whatever it is. He's got his little brain right there. But um, yeah, we're gonna get into it and keep it going. And we have finished this painting. This is uh, the third day I've been working on it. Uh, you just saw me do the last little time lapse of this corner up here. I put the last little uh, reflection of the stars on, and this piece is done. 
This is my favorite style. I really like how this has come together. This was something that when I did the first one, um, I wasn't expecting to make a painting like this. It just kind of happened like that. And it turned out to be something really cool. And that's the beauty of art. Like every time you do something new, it can turn into something that you had no idea that it, that would be the outcome. Looking at this piece, this is definitely one of the cooler ones I've done. I've done three so far. This is the third one. One's right here, one's up there on the wall. And I'm definitely gonna do a continuation of this series. I have another canvas um, already lined up that I'm gonna be doing with it. Yeah, I think this captures, I think this style captures how I like to create art the best. It's a mix of everything. It's flowy, it's colorful, it's got space. It's just like a, a melt of the mind on a canvas. And um, yeah, this was a fun one to do. If you uh, wanna check out more of my work, my website is mindofwidge.com and uh, you can follow me on Instagram at mindofwidge. Thanks for watching.